for you learner welcome to darasa where learning is made easy i'm your teacher purity and zelimo and our topic of today that is in physics is linear motion and we are going to move on with linear motion and today we are going to look at acceleration acceleration that is our sum topic for today's lesson now before we look at acceleration i would like us to go back to velocity a bit and just look at and define what we mean by constant velocity we need to understand what is constant velocity and then we also need to understand when we say that a body is at rest what does it mean now when we talk of constant velocity we simply mean that this is a body traveling a certain distance in every second every second it travels a certain distance every second a certain which is the same the same distance and therefore we'll say that this body is traveling at a constant velocity we are saying that the distance that is being covered is the same at every time interval now when we say that a body is at rest we simply mean that the velocity of that body is zero so whenever you are told that the body is at rest always keep in mind that the velocity is zero meters per second now we move on now to acceleration by the end of this lesson you should be able to define acceleration and also to define uh, various terms associated with this acceleration now when we talk of acceleration acceleration simply refers to change in velocity per unit time or it is the rate of change in velocity and therefore we say acceleration denoted by a small letter a is given by change in velocity divided by time taken and since velocity is a, uh, is a vector quantity and time a scalar quantity acceleration a is also a vector quantity it has both magnitude and direction so we are saying that acceleration a is equal to change in velocity divided by the time taken so we are going to have change in velocity equal to final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time taken we use a capital letter v for final velocity and a small letter u for initial velocity so we have v minus u divided by t small letter t for time being equal to a which is our acceleration the si unit of acceleration is meters per square second you can write it as this meters per square seconds or meters per square seconds so you can use either the first or the second but do not use both because you'll be repeating yourself so we have seen that acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time taken now we can have a body moving at a constant or uniform acceleration what does uniform or constant acceleration mean uniform or constant acceleration simply means that velocity changes by an equal amount in every equal time interval the velocity is changing equally or by an equal amount in every amount or in every time in every time interval 
the velocity is also changing by a certain common value in every equal time period. So if it is changing by 30 meters per second in two, in two seconds, again it changes again by 30 meters per second in again two seconds. Again 30 meters per second in two seconds. That means that the body is moving at uniform or constant acceleration. Again we have what we refer to as instantaneous acceleration. That one instantaneous comes from the word instant. So when we talk of instantaneous acceleration, it simply refers to acceleration at a point or at a particular point, at a particular time. And this is majorly when we have a curve. If we have our velocity time graph as a curve, as you can see here, our velocity time graph is a curve, if you want to get the acceleration, you can only get the acceleration at a certain point. For example, what is the acceleration when time is 2 seconds? So you get to draw a tangent. Where t is 2 seconds, you move up with that line up to where we have the velocity. Now at that point, draw a tangent. When you find the slope or the gradient of this tangent, that will give you the instantaneous acceleration, which is the acceleration at that time when t is equal to 2 seconds. That is what we are calling instantaneous acceleration. Now, we can have a body that is slowing down, meaning that it is moving from a high velocity to a low velocity, or even moving from a high velocity all the way to rest. And we say that at rest, the velocity is zero. Now, if we have a body moving from that high velocity and then moving to a lower velocity, we call that deceleration or retardation. Deceleration or retardation. Deceleration or retardation. That is when a body is slowing down or when a body comes to a stop. Now in this case, if we take an example of a body moving at 30 meters per second, that is the initial velocity of 30 meters per second, and then it comes to rest. That, is, that means that the final velocity is 0 meters per second. And the time taken is 5 seconds. Now, if we want to calculate the acceleration, we'll come and say acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by time taken. So we are going to take final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time taken. Our final velocity, because the body is coming to a stop or to rest, our final velocity is zero. And our initial velocity is 30. And the time taken is 5 seconds. So 0 minus 30 is negative 30. Divided by 5, that is negative 6. So our acceleration is negative 6 meters per square second. That negative simply means that that body was decelerating. And therefore, our deceleration is 6 meters per square second. So that negative is being taken by the word retardation. Because the negative just shows that the body is retarding or decelerating. So we have our retardation. If we were to be asked, what is the deceleration? Or what is the retardation? We'll take it as 6 meters per square meters. But our acceleration is negative 6 meters per square seconds. So the negative in that answer simply means that it was a deceleration. Now those are the terms that are associated with acceleration. We've seen deceleration or retardation is when a body is moving from a higher velocity to a low velocity or even to rest. 
and our acceleration gives a negative figure. That negative means that it is a retardation. So when we are told to give the retardation, we now exclude the negative. Instead, we say that the retardation is 6 meters per square second. Now, we'll continue with more calculations of acceleration during our next lesson. Thank you for following. My name is Teacher Purity Anzelimo.